Sumanth wants to sell a mobile at a profit of 20%. He bought it at 10% less and sold it at Rs. 60 less. Still he gained 20%. What is the cost price of the mobile? So basically there is a guy Sumanth who wants to sell a mobile phone at a profit of 20%. He wants to make a profit of 20%. What happened? He bought it at 10% less. So he paid 10% less for the mobile phone and he sold it for 60 rupees less. While selling, he reduced the price by 60 rupees. While buying, he got a 10% discount, let's say. He paid 10% less. But while selling also, he sold for rupees 6 less and ended up making again the same profit of 20%. Whatever he wanted to make initially, the same profit he has got, 20%. So the cost price of the mobile is, what is the cost price of the mobile? How do you solve this? Very simple. Let's assume the cost price is C. Initial, I mean the cost price of the mobile is C. He wanted to sell the mobile at a profit of 20%. See, if the profit is 20%, if you want a profit of 20%, implies the selling price should be 120% is the cost price, which means 1.2C. Yes or no? The cost price is C. And this is what you have to calculate. What is C is the question. What is the cost price is the question. If the profit is 20%, these are all basics of profit and loss basics of profit and loss if the profit is 20 percentage the selling price will be 120 percentage of the cost price selling price is going to be 120 percentage of the cost price what is 120 percentage of cost price 1.2 times 120 percentage is equal to 1.2 times 120 percent is 120 by 100 which is 1.2 c so this is equation number one that selling price has to be 1.2 times of c what is equation two he bought it at 10 percentage less that means his new cost price is how much only 0 0.9 times of c I am not writing all the intermediate steps. You understand? He bought it for 10 percentage less, which, which means he did not pay 100 percentage of C. He paid only 90 percent of C. He has paid only 90 percent of C. 90 percent of C is 0.9 C. And sold it for 60 less. The new selling price S dash is S minus 60. He sold it for rupees 60 less. He wanted to sell for S. He has sold it for S minus 60 rupees. But he still gained 20 percentage profit. The new profit is still 20 percentage. P dash is 20 percentage. Again, going back to the same concept, if the profit is 20%, the selling price S dash should be 1.2 times the cost price C dash. If the profit is 20%, selling price should be 1.2 times the cost price. But what is the selling price? S minus 60. Substitute this. What is the cost price? C dash 0 0.9 times of C. Substitute this. You will get the answer. See what happens. S minus 60 equals to 1.2 times of C dash. What is C dash? 0 0.9 C. Again, I can say that S is equal to 1.2C. See, don't go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that I've put on paper. I am writing all these steps because all of you failed to get the right answer. All of you got some random answer for this one. Right? When you are solving it in the exam, you will just write one line and then solve it. You will not write all these intermediate steps. Anyway, substitute S equals to 1.2C. So finally, what do we get? 1.2C minus 60 equals to 1.2 into 0.9C is like 1.08 C. So overall the answer is 0.12 C equals to 60. When you simplify what happens? See 60 by 12 is 5. 60 by 0 0.12 will be 500. So I can say the cost price C is equal to 500 rupees. 500 rupees. Right? Cost price has to be 500 rupees. And, and let me repeat again, you will not be writing all these steps. Somebody who has understood the question, who has solved this in the past, will write this step in the exam directly. See, I know that he still gained 20 percentage. So selling price is 120% of cost price. What is the selling price? 60 rupees less than the original selling price. So directly write S minus 60 is equal to 120 percentage of the cost price, 1.2 times of cost price. What is the cost price? 10 percentage less than the original cost price, 0 0.9 C. Again, substitute S equals to 1.2 C. Remember original selling price S equals to 1.2 C. So basically two equations and two variables. S is 1.2 C, S minus 60 equals to 1.2 times of 0 0.9 C. Solve for it and get the answer. That's it. You don't have to write all these intermediate steps. Or maybe you can go by options also. If, if you don't want to deal with these equations, use options. Use options and solve it. Like for example, let's, let's look at this option. Definitely one of the options will be 500, right? So let's say option number, you know, some, some option is 500. How do you verify this? According to the option, the answer is 500. According to this option, which is 1, 2, 3 or 4 option, 4th option, doesn't matter, but answer is 500. How do you check whether this is satisfying or not? Look at the first condition. The man wanted to sell at a profit of 20%. Percentage. Profit of 20%. Percentage. 20% percent of what? 500. 20% of 500 is how much? 100 rupees. Which means the selling price should be 600 rupees. Or same thing, 1.2 times of 500. 1.2 times of 500 is 600. 
So according to this option, when the cost price is 500, the original selling price should be 600. Now see what happened. He bought it for 10 percentage less. This is the cost price. This is the cost price according to the option. The new cost price is how much? 10 percentage less. So 500 minus 10 percentage, which is equal to 450. What's the new selling price? S dash. He sold it for 60 less. 600 minus 60, which is equal to 540. You know the cost price, new cost price. You know the new selling price. Can you find out the profit here? This profit has to be 20 percentage. If this profit is 20 percentage, which is as given in the question, then that's the correct answer. If it comes out to be something else, then that's not the right answer. Now, how much is the profit? P dash 90 rupees. 450 becomes 540. You have earned 90 rupees. 90 rupees on how much? On the base of 450 rupees. 90 is 20 percent of 450. Yes or no? 90 is actually 20 percent of 450. So did we satisfy the condition or not? The condition says that he still gained 20 percentage. Yes, he still gained 20 percentage. So option 500 is the correct answer. Again, you don't have to write these steps on paper. All these are mental calculations that you need to do. So 500 is the cost price. 500 is the cost price and that's the answer to this question.